This is the 1 to 5 house, which is a 2400 square foot uh, single family residence. If you want to do something sustainable, the first question is always about the money. My highest goal basically is to show that you can build a high performance house at market rate cost. This house doesn't really cost more than a standard customized home but it, it comes at approximately 90% efficiency. If you would have a house that would have a, a monthly $200 heating bill, um, our heating bill would only be 10% of that. So instead of paying $200, we would pay $20 a month. This house is a great example of how design can be used to do something that's really remarkable, very energy efficient, but it's also just a beautiful house. You have to design a building looking at it very holistically. The key is really in the design process. It's not in, in technology, it's not building components or materials, it's really in the design process where you take the right decisions. We are here in the master's bathroom. Um, I, I talk a little bit about the, the windows in general in this building. This is our bathtub. It's a European one because it's nice and big and, and um, the, you, you realize the window is right above it. So the idea is that when you, when you take a bath, you can look outside and enjoy the wonderful view. But it also talks about the way we, we dealt with every window in the building. Every window in the building has a very specific meaning and a very specific placement. We are at 7,000 feet up here. It's a very rough, harsh climate. That's why we have these, these really highly insulated walls. Now, in regard to the walls, you can see the thickness of the walls from here all the way to the outside uh, edge, which is the stucco. So we have about 11 inches of um, blown-in insulation between a double stud frame wall and then on the outside, the gray stucco, you see that's a four-inch foam package that wraps the entire building. Um, we get an R value about R60 through that, which should be enough uh, at this elevation to really keep the building warm in the wintertime without a lot of heating. This is a very compact building. It's basically a, a cube. That's very important for the energy efficiency. If you s spread out a building more, you have more roof space and so on and so on. It's very minimal, reduced to the main fun functions what it is designed for, and that's what makes it successful. This is a typical example how we designed this building. That's the cover of the exhaust flue of the gas fireplace. So when the gas fireplace is running the story below, it, it creates a radiant heating system here in the bathroom. So we can use that heat to heat the building rather than just exhaust it over the roof. This project is not just a design project, of course. It's also a research project. Jorg has put sensors all over this house. Monitoring equipment doesn't need to be a you know, big bulky box on the wall. It's very, it can be very well hidden. We have decided to use a, a wired system. We have actually more than a dozen of these thermocouples in the building. We're using it both to control the system, to control our heat, as well as monitoring everything. In many ways, we need to start thinking about design as not just something um, that's a pretty picture, but as actually something that we can promote through research that we can make better. The students that we have in our classrooms today are learning every day from a cadre of professors who are building things like this. And so when the students go out into the world, we really can have a huge effect on how design is promulgated throughout the state.